Hey gang, Bronco Chrome 92 here again. So today's project, I'm going to show you how to replace the outside door handle on a 1995 Dodge Ram pickup truck. Okay, this is another install video brought to you by AutoPartsWarehouse.com. Um, you can check them out for uh, you know good parts, uh, good prices. Um, they sent us these CoolView um, replacement outer door handles. Um, this is the uh, passenger side, and uh, this is the driver's side. Uh, the ones on this truck are a little faded and a little sloppy, so um, we'll. Uh, pop the door panels off and uh, show you how quick and easy it is to replace the outside door handle so okay you so up. you can see our outside door handle here is a little faded and a little sloppy so to do this um, we basically have to remove the inner door panel um, and then there's a, a vapor barrier behind here that we have to move, remove and uh, just a couple screws we can pop that handle out so let's uh, get this door panel off and uh, show you how to do it. Okay, so to get this door panel off, there's two Phillips screws inside the, uh, the pull pocket here, and then there's a Phillips screw up on the, uh, on the pillar here, so basically take these out. You have to remove your bezel here for your window switch and door lock switch. Now you can either pull the wiring off or you can just feed it through the hole. And just basically pull the door panel off. So if you get under here with a wedge, Series of clips to hold the door panel in one place. Just lift the door panel out of the way. Flip your switch through. And unclip. Mirror switch. And if you drop a clip, just pick it up and make sure you put it back on right away. So behind here, you may not want to trash your moisture barrier because the moisture barrier will keep water from getting inside your vehicle. So just carefully peel it away. So you have enough room to get to the handle over okay, here. Okay, so to remove the handle, there's a 8 millimeter bolt here, and there's a 8 millimeter screw here, and then there's another 8 millimeter bolt on this side. And we can just loosen this guy up. Okay, once we have the, the uh, bolts removed, there are two rods inside that you're going to need to release. Unfortunately, I can't show you them because the camera won't fit in there, but once the handle's out, you'll see. So you'll need to remove the one for the lock rod and then for the handle. If you 
you take a long screwdriver, you can go through the hole here and pop back on that clip. And slide the rod off. Okay, so at that point, you should be able to get the handle loose like this. kind of have to maneuver these little plastic pieces. Okay, so now that the handle's out of the truck, we need to transfer the lock cylinder from the old uh, handle to the new handle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this clip off the new handle, place it aside, place the handle aside. Then we'll take the old handle, pop our clip off, and then the lock cylinder should just lift out. Take our new handle, pop our old lock cylinder into the new handle, take our new clip, pop it in place. Now we can put this in the truck. Okay, now we're back at our truck. So we're going to take our new handle, and we're going to feed it into the door here. Basically, installation is the reverse of removal. We have to reattach our linkage and uh, put our fasteners back in place. So the rods are on. Um, you just have to install this locking clip down here. millimeter nuts Test the operation. Looks nice. So the handle on the other side is basically the same procedure, um, and uh, we just have to put the door panel back on this side. So I'm going to wrap this up. So uh, anyhow, www.autopartswarehouse.com for quality OEM type parts at good prices. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.